strength training group classes. They usually suck. Here's why. Our next caller is Kitty from New Jersey. Kitty, how can we help you? Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for taking my, my question. Um, yeah, you know, like everyone always says, you know, listening to you for a very long time, uh, probably like 2017, 2018-ish. And even though I'm not, I've never done weightlifting stuff, I just try and squirrel your information away in my brain. Um, never thought I'd actually have a question for you, though. So. Um, Let's hear it. Yeah. Well, thank you for okay. the support. Yeah. So um, my question was, I recently joined a gym and started taking the Les Mills body pump classes and I enjoy the classes, but I'm wondering if there's a way to keep taking the class, but make it less about cardio in order to lift heavier weights. And it's like, I like group classes. That's what gets me to work out. And I've never joined the gym before. So just getting to a gym and doing these body pump classes is a big step for me. Um, and then background about me, I'm 52 years old, never had to worry about weight. Um, however, um, going into menopause, you know, about a couple years ago, it has created like a body and body fat challenge for me. Um, and whenever my weight goes up, that seems to be like the new number it stays at. Um, and in the past, I've done yoga and pole dance classes, and I, I never had to worry about my weight. Even though I, I ate pretty healthy, but never had to worry about my weight. Stopped working out once COVID hit. And now I'm just trying to get back in, like fi find the rhythm. Okay. I, before, before, uh, I think it's important I answer since I probably hammer the 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 classes the most. And I want to point yeah, out, I know, I want to point out something that you said though that's really important mm -hmm. that you know it, it's a it's a big step for you to be in there, and the classes are so supportive. And this is where there's always an exception to the rule when I'm talking to somebody, right? So. I know I come down hard sometimes on class settings and I've said things like all class, I wish that all camps or classes should be, should die. Should right. Die. So, <laughs> and, and In here's, quotes. and here's the thing. So if you were a client of mine and you said that to me, then I would encourage you to continue doing the classes. And I'd probably ask you like, how well do you know the instructor? And could you go over to the instructor and say, Hey, I'm going to like every other set set out so I can rest between these. And that way I can push the weight. Cause there's ways for you to potentially do that. Right. You're not going to follow exactly the kind of rhythm that they follow in those classes. Like they kind of follow music or like a beat and, yeah. it's, like, and it's like nonstop. Very fast. Right. <clears throat> and so what you could do is you, whenever you guys go over and you load up the weights, I know on the, the, on the little bar or whatever like that, and you're getting ready to do like some sort of a, a, a you know, circuit, that you do, you know, 10 to 12 reps and then you set the bar down and you pick a, and then you keep adding weight to where that 10 to 12 reps is heavy and challenging for you. And then you give yourself at least a minute rest before you get, you, you join back into the rhythm of the class. And so if you communicated that with the instructor that, Hey, I want to really push getting stronger. I'm going to give myself some rest. I just want you to know that, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to your class or like, it's not that I can't keep up with the pace. It's that I really want to get strong. That's what uh, my focus is. That's how I would modify a class like that is I would force you to rest after every 12 to 15 reps. I wouldn't let you do more than 12 to 15 reps. And I'd, I'd always be pushing you to add weight that makes 12 to 15 reps really challenging. So that, that would be the first part of how I would start my advice to you. Then the next thing would be, Let's also assess what's going on. If you're if you're still not seeing results, we might have to move away from a class setting because you need to do something that's more structured like a MAPS anabolic program. But I would at least try and modify my advice because of what you said from the very beginning of how much this is supportive and help helping you to get going in the right direction. Yeah. Kitty, can I can I just say I love you, right? I love that <laughs> you're in there, you're trying, you're 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 definitely communicating very honestly. Um, and I love working with people like you. So I, I, I want to ask you this. What is it mm -hmm. about the class that is getting you to go on a consistent basis? Is it the schedule? Is it the people that you, or yeah, did you make friends there? Like let's, let's isolate what it is about the class that you have found that is helping you stay consistent. So I, I do like a class environment. Um, just, you know, with the potential to meet new people where I, I don't see that happening out in like the, on the floor, um, where all the weights are. 
And within the class, since like listen, my, my background is yoga and pole dance. I don't know. I don't have the knowledge of form when it comes to lifting. And within these classes, they just yell out cues like, you know, shoulders back or, or yeah. whatever. And like they show, they'll dem- they do demos on, um, on certain things. And I feel like I need that because I don't, I don't have that knowledge and I'm super body, body aware when I'm doing yoga, but when it comes to weights, it's, it's, I'll be lifting and like in my head, I'm seeing myself like lifting with perfect form. But if, when I look in the mirror, I'm like, Oh my God, you know? (laughs) So, um, having that constant, um, like someone yelling out, you know, you know, something about form yeah. or, you know, the way people are holding their body. Like, even if it isn't specified at me, you know, it's just a reminder, like, oh yeah, shoulders back or, or whatever. Gotcha. Um, so that's what I like about that. And I also don't know what to do and I'm, su- I would be super uncomfortable and just really intimidated to just go out on the floor and, start playing around with like the free weights or any of like any of the equipments. Yeah, and yeah. it, it's that the, world is so foreign to me. This is the route for okay. sure. This is what I thought. Um, and you, by, by the way, you are, this is very common. <clears throat> this is extremely common. Whenever, uh, I would get a, you know, average member that would come in, especially female. This is what they would feel when we would sit down and talk. Um, mm-hmm. so this is super common. So let me, I'm going to be objective and then I'm going to, okay. I'm going to help you out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Objectively speaking, the, the form guidance you're getting from an instructor in a classroom full of 20, 30, 40 people is garbage. Okay. So they can't possibly help you with your form in any real substantial way because of the class setting. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from yeah. someone who, who ran gyms and owned gyms. So you're not really getting the benefit necessarily from that, from an objective standpoint, but I know, I think the benefit you're getting is the, it's helping you with your lack of confidence in your form and technique and you're with other people. So you don't feel alone. Mm-hmm. You don't feel isolated. It is a bit scary to work out, uh, you know, in the free weight area. So I totally get mm-hmm. that. So there's a couple things I, I can do to kind of help you with that. One is we all, we, you know, we have programs. I'm going to set you up with some of our programs. Then you got videos and demos in there showing you what to do. And two, and this is the part you're going to have to do on your own is I want you to venture out and it, it, this is exposure therapy, like any other fear. If you go out and you start doing it, it kind of sucks at first, but then mm-hmm. it gets easier. And then the confidence you're going to get from doing this in the weight room and practicing on your own, and then the results you're going to get because the training is going to be much more appropriate, is what's going to give you the li- the lifelong sustaining motivation, energy, and discipline to do this forever. Okay, So if this is something mm-hmm. you want to do for the rest of your life, you're going to have to tackle this at some point. At some point, you're going to have to tackle this. I think you should do it now, okay. uh, especially because you're kind of in the middle of this. You're talking about menopause, and, and those hormones can definitely affect how the body stores body fat. The, the best the best exercise solution for menopause is strength training. Like yeah. nothing traditional. Positive, traditional strength training. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not you know cardio with weights or what body pump is, right? Like real strength training is your absolute best approach. Now, if this is still too scary, may I suggest the hybrid approach? Okay. How many days a week are you going to the gym right now? Well, my first month I was going almost every single day. And then I was like, whoa, wait, I'm not seeing results at all. I don't feel like I'm getting stronger. Mind pump would tell me to back off. So July, I cut it like close to half so mm-hmm. maybe about three days a week, fifteen days. Okay. I was going last month. Okay. Do you think you could do this? Do you feel like you could do one yeah. class a week mm-hmm. and, go the opposite and one thirty-minute strength training session on your own a week, where you watch our videos and kind of follow our cues? Do you, could you do that, or does that feel too much? It feels like it's not enough class time. Okay. Like, okay. Like it, feel, it feels like, I, I mean. It, I, I'm telling you right now it is, but I will say this. You okay. can do two classes 
and yeah. one strength training session. That's what I was going to start with. Yeah, my <laughs> my gonna, my gonna my, with- my my goal is to get you to 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 slowly ease into strength training. Mm-hmm. So I don't want okay. you to do a ton of classes because that'll <clears throat> impede yeah. on your recovery. But you could do two classes and then one like thirty minute strength training like on okay. your own, I think would be okay. Do you think I, you could do okay. that? Have you looked into it all, like hiring a personal trainer or a coach or anybody there in the um, gym? So with the gym membership, I do get uh, a personal trainer, like one session every month. Perfect. And I met with her, like I told them, like, like you know, they asked me what I want. I'm like, I want somebody who works with women in menopause who are struggling with, like fat loss Mm -hmm. and they put me with someone she's quite young Mm. um gave me like a little bit of a program to do but i don't is it good i don't know because i've never worked with a personal trainer and we did the whole like in body yeah Um, here's the here's the move here's the move for the trainer since we do have mm -hmm. that is use that trainer to i I want we're going to give you a program exactly and we're going to make the trainer take you through that and what do you and you already said it earlier like it's the form and technique you want to build confidence yeah. around that mm-hmm. so we don't want her for anything else i don't give a shit about her knowledge yeah. around menopause i don't give a shit about her knowledge just around you just teach me these exercises. i just want her to be there to to give you the individual coaching on the form and technique it's yeah. like it'll be the easiest job of her life like right. she's already got the program laid out i don't need her mm-hmm. giving you nutritional advice like literally watch well, my form tell me how i can that's improve right. and and then you know okay. take me uh, here's, each exercise. here's the program i'm following the guys from mind pump you know and, and then we're going to put you in the forum so you'll be in the forum with us so we can have okay. so we can keep an eye on you you can give us feedback of what's going on uh, but okay. I'm, I'm with Sal now program wise I actually think that Maps 15 would be a good way to ease her in uh, Maps 15 would be great uh, we could even do one 30 minute session whatever is going to make you Kitty feel because uh, I, I get the fear and I get the intimidation okay I totally get mm-hmm. it um, I, I managed gyms for a long time. This was a huge hurdle for a lot of people. It's super yeah. common. Oh, yeah. So you have to ease yourself in. Otherwise, it's going to be you're going to be so apprehensive. You're not going to want to do anything at all. And I think you understand that. That's why you're saying mm-hmm. you want to do these classes. So honestly, yeah. the, any approach that allows you to ease yourself in to the traditional strength training is going to be the right approach. Whether it's one 30 minute session or one mm-hmm. strength training exercise every day or two where you're in there just for 15 minutes, like with maps 15, okay. both options, uh, I think will be, will work perfectly for you. And then, and then to add more, is it, let me ask you this. Is it feasible for you financially to hire a personal trainer to train you once a week, every week, or is that out of the question? Cause training is expensive one-on-one. So yeah, that, that is a, a barrier for me. Okay. And yeah. I do work in the financial industry, but I, I'm one of those firms that was just taken over by another firm. So no worries. we're all just kind of sitting around waiting for our jobs to be. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, we can work around that. We, we can work around that. Yeah. No, no worries at all. So let, let me do this. I'm going to send you MAPS Anabolic and I'm going to send you MAPS 15. Okay. If you want to mm-hmm. just do one 30 minute workout a week, okay. follow MAPS Anabolic pre phase. The pre phase workouts will be what you'll follow. Okay. Okay. If you want to just do like a couple exercises most days, mm-hmm. then MAPS 15 is the way to go. By the way, there's the MAPS 15, you can you can use a suspension trainer, which is you could do at home. Okay. Yeah, so that, I, that you don't even need weights. You could just use your body in a suspension trainer and you don't even need to go to the gym. You could do it at home. Well, what I like about MAPS 15 <laughs> is like once you start learning the technique and you start sharpening that, you just practice it. It's not a workout. You're just practicing what you've just learned. And so it's like mm-hmm. laid out for you pretty simply. Uh, and you'll be surprised how strong you're going to get and how um, confident you're going to get as a result. Yeah. We're, and we're going to put you in the forum. So whichever one you choose, just keep us in, in the loop. So let okay. us know uh, what you start with and how you start to ease in and good or bad. I would love to hear from you on your experience so that we can work mm-hmm. through that because to Sal's point, this is unbelievably common. You are not alone in this situation. This is probably a majority of clients that I think all of us have trained. And so mm-hmm. we would we just want to slowly ease you into getting confident. That way, this is the way to do it. You know, yeah. one one time a week doing a few exercises or a 30 minute workout in there. You've got, by the way, I don't know if you know, but the programs, I mean, you bring your iPhone in there and then we've got follow along videos. So yep. you can watch somebody do oh, the form. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. And you, and you okay. put in your headphones, you can listen to the cues. And so we have every, like, it has a full breakdown that you can watch. And we encourage people too in the forum to video themselves while they do exercises and post the, fo- the videos and we'll critique for you. 
So we'll let okay. you know. And yeah. the forum is really supportive that way of uh, lots of other people that were in your exact shoes just a year or two years before, and, and they're now feeling confident to lift themselves. So there's a great community. If you like that community of supportive mm -hmm. people that are all kind of going through it, you're going to get that in there too. So yeah. he set and, you up. And Kitty, uh, I want you to pay most close attention to your strength. That If you're getting stronger, <laughs> like if you could do more reps with good form, if you could add mm -hmm. weight, then you're probably moving in the right direction. For sure. You're very, very likely moving in the right direction. The scale can lie to us. So I wouldn't worry so much about the scale unless you get these crazy fluctuations of body weight. Otherwise, like if you're getting stronger, everything, including hormones, is probably moving in the right direction. And then lastly, like there's, I, I, the other end of this is so awesome. I wanna encourage you because I, I, right now you're, it feels like this kind of like scary thing. With practice on the other end of this is like so much confidence, it's so awesome. You're gonna have this amazing relationship with exercise and you're gonna unlock this, it, this tremendous potential right now that's just it's just under the surface. So I you know I hope that encourages you. So you know stay at it. Yeah yeah no definitely it, it you, you guys definitely encourage me. Um, and if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't even have thought about lifting weights. Um, but I also like I'm also someone where like I like my workouts to be fun. And that's another part of like the the whole class experience. Sure. Of, like. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what's you know what's fun too, Kitty. Seeing yourself get great results. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. You know, because I, I that's a that's a common thing clients would say to me too. Oh, I love the class. It's so fun. And then and three months later, they're frustrated because they're not seeing results. It's not anymore. fun anymore. Yeah. And it's not fun anymore because yeah. you're you're not seeing the results from it. When it's, you're when you're seeing great results from you learning a new skill while also building confidence. Totally. Watch how fucking fun that is. It's it's it really does transform that way. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of the fun you're having now is just the fact that you're in there and there's a lack of anxiety and fear, and that feels amazing. And I understand that. But I'm here to tell you that the fearings and anxiety that you feel with strength training in the weight room will go away. And that is going to make things a lot different. It's going to make things feel a lot better. Okay. We got you. We're going to be right. with you. We're going to be with you along this process. Okay. So make sure you get inside the forum. Doug's going to send you access to all the programs in the forum. And if anybody messes with you in the gym, take a picture, send it to us. We'll broadcast yeah. it on yeah. the podcast. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two seconds. Yeah. Uh, guys, thanks so much. You got um, it. Like I never thought I'd ever, like have a reason to reach out to you and you guys are you get me through my work days um every day working from home alone um so you guys are may have made a huge impact on my life i appreciate awesome. that thanks, thank you Kitty. awesome thanks guys you got it you ever want to just hug someone yeah <laughs> you know? virtual hug yeah so uh, i i i know this helped a lot of people who are listening because uh that is she's a, normal very she's very and she's very mm -hmm. honest tell me that wasn't like uh i don't know 60 percent oh, of your clients easy, that you had right yeah. there easy yeah mm -hmm. it, I, you know what i i the reason why i get so it makes me so excited to hear something like this is because when i would get i know you guys are the same thing when you would get a client like this you knew that they didn't even they didn't even realize the transformation that they were about to embark on. And I don't mean physically, that happens as a result, but the mental and psychological uh, transformation from going to where she is to a few months later, walking in confident, wow, it's like a whole new world. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new world. And th we have an opportunity here to create, uh, to really encourage someone to create a lifelong good relationship with exercise and she's got enough courage to take that first step. So pretty awesome. Well, the, I like this question because it gave me the opportunity to explain myself with the group classes should die comment that I've made more than once. And this is a perfect example of how I, I would still find a way to modify that. Yeah. You know, it's like, yes, I, the ultimate goal is for us to get move her all the way into just strength training, traditional strength training by herself. But I, I've trained so many people like this that I couldn't just rip the Band-Aid off. Mm -hmm. I had to slowly like yep. get, build the confidence. And that that's where something like this, uh, I, I get it. You know, I, I understand that because I obviously trained a lot of people like that on, okay, that's okay. We can still kind of use it right now. This is how I want you to modify it. But then the goal is to move you over in this direction. And trust me, once I get you there, you're going to be so happy.